What's going on, Corvette Cruise and fam? This is me, Ed. Thank you so much for tuning in to this video today. If you are new to the channel, hey, I appreciate you. Like, subscribe, and click that bell notification to be notified whenever I produce a new video. If you are returning, man, I certainly appreciate you all. Today's video is about uh, storage. Yes, I live in a cold weather climate and I have to take my vehicle to storage. I just wanted to give you guys some closure on that. But the real crux of this video today is about the E-Ray. I really want to uh, discuss this E-Ray. I don't want to uh, look at the storage uh, uh, segment. Go ahead, scoot ahead and uh, get to that E-Ray content because I really want to hear what you have to say. Give me some comments. Give me some feedback. Let me know. Uh, do you think it's the wave of the future? Uh, do you think uh, General Motors is making a, a big mistake? Uh, just let me know. At any rate, appreciate you guys. Enjoy the video. Um, the car has been good, you know, over this, you know, over the last, over the last um, seven months since I've owned this vehicle, it has been good. The only thing that, you know, I had and I shared that with you guys before was that the uh, the the information system uh, kind of went out and then I had to uh, reset it. Uh, that wasn't anything to reset. People have different ways of resetting. You know, I just turned the car off, walked away from it. And uh, when I came back, uh, boom, everything popped back up. So I just kind of, you know, reset. That, that's what I did. Whatever works for you, you know, keep doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever works for you, listen, keep doing that. I have an update. I had a vehicle update. And so um, I just backed out in the driveway a little bit and um, I, I went to uh, my apps, found uh, the update and I, I made the update and it just, you know, it just told me, said, said hey, uh, it's, it's updating. It will take 15 minutes or something along that line. I don't remember exactly what it was, but it, it wasn't anything too bad. It was, it was, it was kind of easy. Actually, I do have some updates that are in the vehicle now, but they're not vehicle updates. They're just more apps update so uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to clear those out before I uh, put the car away for storage but other than that uh, it's been a great car uh, I love this vehicle uh, I love you know the attention that the vehicle gets um, you know sometimes it can be a, a, a bit much if you got something to do uh, with people wanting to just you know see the car and, and talk about the car but I love the vehicle and I, and I do love uh, that people are interested in this car so um, with that said it's time to take the car over to storage. Next time you see me, uh, I will be over at the uh, storage facility. So you guys, I made it to the uh, drop-off location for storage. There's a storage facility. Got uh, several uh, RVs of, of of RVs are here. Got some another red Corvette down there. Look like a Cadillac is down there. And of course, you got some some vehicles. You guys, so hey, that's it for the for the year. Hey everybody, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that bell notification to be notified whenever I produce a new video. Also, I need about 20 of you guys. Please, would you go out right now and share this video with somebody today? Be one of those 20 to share. And report it by car and driver and many other places that the Corvette E-Ray is coming. What we believe is that the hybrid powertrain version is coming out first and then we believe that the fully electric vehicle will follow just a little bit later we don't know how much later but we know it's going to come out later gm said hey we're going to be all electric and they want a share of the market they want to compete with porsche they want to compete with acura uh the, the nx the nsx they also want to uh, compete with the bmw i18 so corvettes won't want to end on the market I know that uh, the future uh, is 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 on the horizon, and I know that uh, the future causes you know traditional Corvette lovers a little bit of anxiety, but it also causes uh, those that are thinking about the future some anxiety as well because you know you're asking a question: What do I do? Do I stay with the gas, or do I move forward and go with a hybrid, or do I wait and go with an all electric vehicle? So we have a lot of decisions to make. Uh, the E-Ray is set to be built on the C8 platform. It's going to have two batteries in it. The two batteries are going to be contained in the front. 
and uh, it's going to feature a, a wide body. I'm excited about the wide body because I really wanted a Grand Sport. Uh, when my C8 came available, I was going to look at a Grand Sport and then the Grand Sport suddenly became unavailable. So this E-Ray is going to replace the Grand Sport in the lineup. It's going to be an all-wheel drive. The, the two front wheels are going to be powered by electric. And then it's going to have a 6.2 V8 LT engine. And it's rumored to be, you guys, about a 1,000 horsepower. So it's going to be a lot of power in this car. Uh, some people have reported that the car is going to probably be able to, to go um, 0 to 60 in around in under uh, 3 seconds. Some even say around 2 seconds. Man, that's some speed. So, you know, uh, with a, a wider body, of course, they're going to be wider tires and then we're going to have larger brakes. So, um, you know, you got to be able to stop that all that power. So I, I don't know about you guys, but um, what I'm hearing, man, I'm kind of loving this. <laughs> I'm kind of loving this, you guys. I'm loving the fact that, um, you know, something new is on the horizon. And I, I just, I'm excited about what I'm hearing. Um, I love my C7 when I had it. It was a beautiful vehicle. But then I, you know, I, I painstakingly said, you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move forward with the C8. And once I moved forward with that C8, that car was at a whole nother level. The magnetic ride control of that C8 has been awesome. The, the comfort, the drivability of the C8 has, has been phenomenal, you guys. Um, also, the, um, the, the speed, the power, the overall handling of the car, just the, the, the joy of the C8 to drive ha has been uh, awesome to me. So the sound system that I love, man, you, you crank up the sound, man. I had a hard, uh, I have a hard top convertible. So I let the, uh, let the, uh, the, the top down and turn the sounds up and it just, it sounds great. Um, it's, it's just the, the, the upgrades to the C8 have been, um, jaw dropping and, and I like it. And so, um, don't forget you guys like share and, uh, and subscribe like share subscribe all right um why not why not so so here it is you guys why not why not move on to the e-ray you know uh, it, it just I, I don't know man something about this e-ray it just has my attention it just really does I, i'm sensing to me i'm sensing the best of both worlds and so don't be surprised if I come on the channel and I tell you guys, hey, I put my name in uh, for the E-Ray. I am really, I'm really loving what I'm hearing. Leave me a comment. What, what would you be willing to, to own? Or, or would you be willing to own a, a E-Ray? Uh, would you be willing to own a, a hybrid? Would you be willing to, to own a all electric Corvette? What would you be willing to do? Put it in the comments. I really want to hear from us because this is about our community. I want to hear from us. Uh, got one more rumor for you, though. There's one more rumor that the Corvette wants to enter the electric SUV market. That's what I heard. I heard they want to compete in that market and they want to, um, you know, they, they, they want to be they want to be in the in the um, in the conversation. So, you know, GM is talking about making a, a all electric SUV and some say it's going to be made right here in my in my hometown of Lansing, Michigan. And so, you know, uh, what do you think? Put it in the comments. I really do want to hear from y'all. Put it in the comments. Will it take away from the tradition of the Corvette? Uh, will it hurt the brand? What do you think, you guys? What do you think? What do you, what do you think is going to happen uh, with the future of the Corvette? Are they are, are they murkying up the waters with the electric uh, Corvette? Uh, should they just stay the same, stand pat, just go into the future with the C9? All right, you guys, that's all I have. Listen, uh, like, subscribe, click that bell notification. <laughs>